guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. That's right, some brand new TMNT action figures are starting to hit store shelves right now. And along with that, we get ourselves the brand new Party Wagon. This is one I have been particularly excited about ever since it was announced at last Comic Con because this here is quite the homage to the vintage party wagon. So let's check this thing out. As you can see, it comes in beautiful, fully enclosed box packaging that continues that theme of having some really awesome original artwork right there on the box. You'll also notice this has that new color scheme that we're seeing on a lot of the new packages. So it's much more of a brighter green and yellow now, as opposed to the darker purples we were seeing originally. And when you flip that box around to the back side, we get a look at the actual toy itself, and the box also lets us know some of the action features. Now when you pull this out of the box, there is some minor assembly required. You will notice that there are many pieces there that you'll have to put together, as well as a sheet of stickers that you'll need to assemble. There is, however, a sheet of instructions that will help guide you through the process, and all of those pieces are very easy to clip on there, and once you put them on, they pretty much stay in place. Now, here's a little tip that I definitely want to give you guys while you're putting this together. It's probably a good idea to put the stickers on the van before assembling all of the pieces to it, because some of the stickers will be a lot easier to put on if you don't have some of those railings and the wheels and stuff like that in the way. And once you get everything assembled, this is what we end up with. The brand new party wagon. So this just appeared in the Nickelodeon TMNT cartoon series. This is the successor to the Shell Razor, which is what they were using originally. And now we have the party wagon. And it's kind of cool to see them upgrade to this particular vehicle because it looks so much like the vintage Turtles party wagon or turtle van that we saw in the original toy line and cartoon series. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Now this is pretty much standard as far as the build of the van goes. Um, it really feels a lot like that movie turtle van that we looked at just recently. So if you pick that up, uh, the feel of it is very similar to that. Uh, it's quite lightweight, so it's made of a very light plastic there. You can see it uh, really doesn't have a lot of weight to it at all. But um, it doesn't really feel cheap or overly cheap or anything like that. It's just a really light plastic that's used there. Um, but that is good for kids. It'll be very easy to pick up and kind of bash around and everything. It rolls very nicely. You can see it's got some really great wheels. They are just hard plastic wheels, but it does roll very nicely on there. Uh, and it's even done in the style of the old van where the back wheels are a little bit larger than the front wheels. So you kind of got that jacked up look in the back, uh, which is a very, very cool design. Now the van itself is mostly done in the colors. Uh, it's just molded them with that green color on the top, the yellow color on the bottom there. So there's no extra paint work or anything like that. Uh, however, there are some stickers on there that help bring out some of the cool designs. Um, and some of the stickers are very nice because we even have some great homages to the original one like the little graffiti on the side that says foot stinks. Uh, I love stuff like that. And uh, I am particularly fond of the very cool kind of uh, World War II-esque uh, bomber chick kind of design on the side with the word Venus on there, which is a really great nod to Venus de Milo, the female turtle from the Next Mutation series. I thought that was very clever and very fun. Uh, and it's right out of the cartoon series. That's actually on the party wagon in the new cartoon. So I was very happy to see that included on this brand new van, uh, van here. So lots of great little design elements on here. Um, and like we've seen with a lot of things in the Turtles line, there is a lot of unpainted stuff too. Um, but some neat little things that you can look at, if you look at the bumper on the front, you'll see it's made of just kind of some bent rods there, but also has uh, like some Casey Jones hockey sticks going across the front, which is really neat. Over here along the sides, you got the rear of your mirrors, but you also have these little blaster type things that are sticking off the sides, little handles on there, and you can actually move those a little bit up and down so the turtles could reach out of the windows of the van to fire those off if they want to. I really like the little blast shield design in the front because again, that's another design element that seems to come straight off of the vintage toy. Uh, however, unlike the vintage toy, we can't really lower this down in front of the windshield. Um, it is kind of set so it's sitting on this little lip here. It doesn't really fold down. Um, you have to really like kind of unclip it, but as you can see, it doesn't even fold down. It's kind of molded uh, to stay upright. So it's not really meant 
to be folded down like the vintage one. And see, now I gotta uh, pop it back up above the lip here. Okay, as we come around to the side of the van, you'll notice we got the big red door on the side. Uh, it's designed very similar to that big orange door that was on the side of the vintage turtle van, which is very cool. And this door does open up. Um, it's not like the vintage one, so it doesn't swing out and drop bombs, but it does have its own little action feature uh, with some handles on there, uh, which I'll show you in just a little bit when we get our turtles in play here. Uh, the back there, we do have some more opening doors. You can see that the back doors open up. Lots of space on the inside there. It is just open space in there. There's no seats or anything like that, um, but there's plenty of place to cram some turtles in there, some other figures. Um, lots of them can stand up in there. And the doors clip close pretty nicely. We even got a cool little license plate on there. Turtle power, very, very neat. And then the front of the van and the driver's seat Folds down very much like, again, that movie Turtle Van we looked at not too long ago. And even the steering wheel kind of comes forward there, so that way you can sit your turtles right there in the front. Um, there are seats in the front, but there's no actual seat underneath, so you don't actually have to sit the turtles down. They more kind of stand in there, um, and it makes it look like they're sitting on seats when it's all closed up. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and pack the turtles on here? Just so I can show you how this looks, we'll go ahead and load some of the turtles up in here. You can get them kind of standing in there. You can move the steering wheel up there in front of Don. You can get him uh, holding on to the wheel. We'll put Leo up here in the driver's seat too. So you can see we just kind of stand up there in the front just like that. Close the, uh, the front. Now it looks like they're driving the van. Very, very cool. So let's come back over to this little uh, door here. This door that opens up and the box calls it battle mode when it's open. So you got a little platform here. You also have two handles. So oh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick Raph on here. Let me do that real quick. Get them kind of gripping onto the handles. You get them standing on the door. And now we've got the door open on the side, so it almost kind of works like a, a battering ram or, or something they can flip open and um, you can ram into people, run them off the road, run people down with it like that. You got Raph kind of hanging on to it there. Um, you can actually still swing this shut if you get them posed the right way. Even with him holding onto it, the door still closes and then you can pull it open. Boom, just like that. So it's kind of neat. So you got Raph just hanging onto the door there. So the other fun feature that we've got is the big yellow fin on the top folds up and reveals some little spring-loaded firing red missiles on the inside. You just have the two little red buttons on the top that control each of those missiles. And it's neat because you can actually kind of aim this however you want to. So you can shoot more forwards, you can shoot more upwards, and all you do is press a little button on there. You got some really great spring-loaded firing mechanisms in there to blast those missiles off. And of course, that opens up a little hatch on the top as well. So if you also want to, you know, stick Mikey or somebody up here, you can always kind of, you can uh, dump guys into the top of the van like that, or you can kind of have Mikey hanging out of the top of the van kind of like that maybe. You know, I don't know, maybe he's the guy controlling the missiles. We're probably in trouble if that's the case, but you know, you can always get uh, guys on there like that too. So there's a lot of storage space on here, which is really nice. You can get two drivers in the front, you can get the guy holding onto the door, you can cram some more guys in the back, you got these opening doors here. Um, it's very, very nicely designed. Uh, kids will definitely be able to fill this up with your turtles, with April, with Splinter, with Casey. You should be able to cram all those guys in there with no problem, and we can roll ourselves into battle. Very nice design. I really think this is a, a very well-built toy. It's a really cool looking toy. Personally, I find this cooler looking than the Shell Razor, um, but that might just kind of be my nostalgia. You know, I'm looking at it through nostalgia guys here because it looks so much like the vintage toys. So with that being said, it's comparison time. Let's go ahead and pull on up that vintage turtle van. So you can see these two side by side. Uh, the vintage one is a little bit bigger, but not by much. Um, but you can really see all of the very similar design elements here. Um, we got that was very similar doors. We got that similar blast shield on the front. Um, the green and yellow colors are on there. Even kind of the stickers and everything. You can really see that this new party wagon is a direct homage to this vintage toy that everybody loved and of course everybody remembers it. It's a very iconic looking vehicle and now we've got this really nice upgrade for the new Nick Turtles toy line. So also we got uh, some looks at it standing alongside the Shell Razor vehicle so you can see the differences between the Shell Razor and the new party wagon. And then hey why not, here it is with a whole bunch of other Ninja Turtles turtle fans.
So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. Overall, really like this one. I think out of all of the new vans, the turtle vans that we've had in the current lines, uh, being the Shell Razor and that movie van, which I really liked, and this one, this one is my favorite. But again, I think it's just because of that really cool nostalgic look that this has uh, with it resembling the vintage ones so much. Uh, there's a lot of neat little features on there, but it's not overly done with action features, so that's kind of nice. Um, I actually kind of think it's neat. As much as I like the spring-loaded door on the old one, I think it's kind of nice that you don't have to worry about that with this. You can just kind of open this and close it as you please. You can cram it full of turtles. You know, there's lots of battle you can do with this. And if you missed out on any of the other turtle vans, now you can grab this one. And this one is arguably the coolest one of the bunch so far. So these are hitting store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends. And until next time.